for me? What can we do for you today? Well, you know, Janine, people have told me who know me, oh, you should write a book. <laughs> but my response has always been, you know, I don't want to live, I don't want to live through that again. I don't want to live through the past. So instead I write about stuff that nobody wants to read, like SEO. <laughs> Which, you know, I think is so fascinating. But like people want to run out of the room with their hair on fire, like when I start <laughs> talking about <laughs> SEO. <laughs> so, but I thought, you know, maybe the reason why I like SEO so much is because of what I've been through. Right. But anyway, so I'm uh yeah, I'm really thinking. Um, I'm thinking that I should write my book, mm -hmm. supposedly my book, right? right. And yeah. so what would you advise someone who was in my situation? <laughs> I'm asking for a friend. <laughs> um, honestly, what I would do about that particular situation um, is I'd find a way to make it funny. You don't have to go through the emotional drama and trauma Find a way to make it funny or slip in SEO. So when I first started writing my books back in 2005, back in the dark ages, um, what was interesting about that was I really loved math and physics. Okay, I really was into math and physics. <laughs> and so I found ways to slip in uh, Pascal's law, Newton's third law of thermodynamics. If you look in the first book I ever wrote, I've got little slip snippets of science in there and I'll pull myself after a paragraph, I'll go, okay, enough, enough. And then I'll go back to writing about what I was doing. People loved it. They said it was, um, it was unusual for the time to actually have somebody, you know, putting in little personal comments like that. And so people love it when they see my parentheses, because then they know I'm gonna have some either snarky comment or am I the only one that has this issue or they feel like I'm having a conversation with them. So that's what I would recommend is when you get ready to do that. And uh, for those of you who may or may not know, November is National Novel Writing Month or what we lovingly refer to as NaNoWriMo. October, writers like Nancy, Kathy, and myself, for authors like us, um, October is called Preptober because we're prepping for <laughs> November. So Nancy comes on and goes, I'll be writing my book in November, 50,000 words in 30 days. <laughs> and we meet every morning at 6 a.m. And that's mountain time. Uh, Nancy and Kathy get up at 5 a.m. to join our early bird writing group. So if you are in that predisposition to get up early and write before work, uh, we are there for you. So thank you for asking. Anything else you need, Nancy? Or No, you're good? Okay. Uh, good morning, everybody. It's lovely to see you. And one of the things um, when uh, one of my students or somebody that's in my group comes on and asks a question, I address that first. But then I would like to share with you the slide deck I have from questions I have had my other authors. Okay, so here you go, folks. Welcome to Open Friday Coffee. And I always like to start off with a little bit of humor for our Friday. And I now work with five mechanical engineers. And so I had to paste this on my front door of my office, which is still confused as to why I need to put my cake in the oven at 120 degrees. And if you can't see it, there's a protractor <laughs> sitting there. <laughs> My mechanical engineers were like, oh, you're going to be that kind of contractor. <laughs> so I had I had a great time. There's five of them in the office. I'm the only one that is an analytical biochemist. So we have a lot of fun together. OK, moving on. Hi, I'm Janine Bull, and I've written a few books. Uh, the books that I mainly talk about in this uh, Open Friday Coffee is The Thriving Solopreneur and then publish profitability. Those are the two that seem to help this group much uh, better. Um, I have been doing this since, I've been in media and all that since about 1996, you know, as far as a professional, got paid for it kind of thing. But I've been teaching the 60-40 principle since about 2005 when I first came out with the book, Money, It's Not Just for Rich People. The reason I am bringing this up for you is in the chat, you will see that Lynette has put a link. And this is for people who would like to read Money It's Not Just for Rich People as I rewrite it in November, because part of NaNoWriMo for me is going to be 
reworking this 20 year old book so that it will read for the modern audience. And as I read the book, I laugh because at the time we didn't have online banking. You could not take a picture of a check and put it into your bank account. Uh, smartphones did not exist. Facebook did not have a like button and YouTube was still called MySpace. <laughs> a few th we've had a few changes. So if you would like to be a beta reader and what I do for my beta readers, if you sign up and you help me write this book and give commentary, um, I put your name in the acknowledgements and, uh, and then you get a free ebook. You get the book on your e-reader for free. And so that's what I do for my beta readers. So if you'd like to sign up, I would love to have you. Um, the other thing is that you're welcome to do is Lynette will put in the chat a link to you're on mute. A lot of uh, the folks who are on Zoom, we have these little cards, you're on mute because we are constantly saying that a million times a day. So you're welcome to sign up for that. would love to send you a card. It does not put you into a list. It does not put you into a CSV file that you have to worry about being harangued. I just send you a card. <laughs> okay. People love my cards. People love um, getting mail from me. I don't sell through my direct mail system. I do alert people uh, every once in a while. I'll say, hey, I'm going to be in Colorado Springs. So I'll send cards to everybody in Colorado Springs and say, I'm going to be at this restaurant at this time if you want to meet me. I do say that, but I, I don't necessarily sell to you. Also, uh, Lynette's going to put in the chat another freebie where you can test drive the send out card system and send a card for free on me. Um, again, I don't push this hardcore. It's just direct mail is really helpful at connecting you with your audience. And I've received a lot of income because of it because I use it as a follow up system. I can talk to you more about it later. The other freebie is uh, Lynette will put in the chat the link so that you can sign up to Authorpreneurs HQ. That is a free event that I do once a month where I talk to you about how do I make money with my book and I walk authors through how you can do that. Um, I encourage people who are writing their book to also sign up. So like I said, this is a once a month event on Alignable. Alignable uh, gave me the opportunity to become a group leader. They handed me a bunch of authors and creatives and said, here, here's a group. We want you to start doing events. Um, this is the book I spend the most time talking about to Open Friday Coffee participants, The Thriving Solopreneur. It's about how to work on your business, not in your business, four hours a week. It's basically how you go about tracking your income producing activities so you can make sure that you're making the revenue that you need to be making. I have, I used to have a download that uh, I would give you guys at this time on your critical four hours, but I ended up writing an article. And so Lynette's going to put in the chat the link to my personal website where you will be able to just read that article. So you can click on that so you can have that on your tab and you can read it later. I think it takes maybe 10 minutes, but there's also a couple of videos too. For those of you who followed me for a while, you know I live in Colorado. It's taken me 20 years to get here and I'm thrilled to be here. This was me last Saturday. Yeah, you can't talk to me on Saturday. I am out above the mountains. I'm above the tree line. I'm hiking. I am gone. Um, this was the view last week. I don't know if you guys know this, but we got 21 inches of snow at the high elevation. Yeah, snow. I cannot wait to go snowshoeing, man. <laughs> This was, was, this was us at uh, 7,000 feet watching the snow coming over the mountain from the 14ers. So uh, that was a lot of fun to be a part of that. And I found some trash. Um, there was this red thing sitting there in a, in a shrub. And I went and I pulled it out, went off the trail. You're not supposed to go off the trail, but I figured I'm picking up trash. So, you know, and what I didn't realize was that everybody that saw this as I was taking this um balloon down to the trash can everybody thought it was my birthday so I was I was told happy birthday for two hours everybody who came up the trail as we were going down were were asking me happy birthday oh my gosh it's your birthday happy birthday <laughs> so what did happen I ended up celebrating with my hiking buddy a birthday that I did not have just because I was hungry for birthday cake <laughs> and ice cream by the time we got off that mountain. So, yeah, I just wanted to share a bit of the fun. Did so you tack on an extra year? I did. Thank you very much. <laughs> yes, I did and enjoyed every packing ounce. Okay, so uh, I talked to you about the Vader's Readers Hub and Entrepreneurs HQ. Those are freebie events, and, and I do not market hardcore to that. The other thing is, is don't forget to sign up for next week's Open Friday Coffee. 
And now I'm going to invite and say thank you, uh, Janine and Janine, for showing up.